I don't know about you, uh, I don't know your story, uh, I don't know where you've been or what you've been through, but I know a lot of people who have uh, struggled with depression, um, even personally. It's something that I've, uh, I've struggled with since I was a teenager. Uh, there's some times where you get up and you don't even want to move. Uh, you don't even want to go out. Uh, maybe you don't want to interact with people. And uh, maybe you have these high moments, but then they're followed by these extreme lows. I think a lot of times uh, people who are following Jesus, they'll say, man, is am something wrong with me? Like, am I not a real Christian? Um, you know, the fact that I'm up and down or the fact that my heart hurts or the fact that sometimes I don't desire God. And I just really want to encourage you that, you know, God, he, he knits us all together. And uh, some people are just more passionate than others and some more compassionate than others and some feel more deeply than others. And, and the way God has made you is intentional at some purpose. But the thing that I've found that has really moved in my heart, and even as I talk to students, is I realize that when I'm broken and when I'm hurting, that's when God wants to speak to me the most profoundly. You know, Jesus said, right? He said, come to me, all you who are weary, all you who are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Now, I'm not talking about just some little light, you know, uh, touch. I'm not talking about some kind of little, you know, insignificant thing. Jesus wants to give you something that is so supernaturally powerful, some healing that is just incredible. You know, and God's word talks about this. David, in fact, I think David, you know, the man after God's heart, I would say he, he seemed to struggle with some kind of depression. He was back and forth. His emotions were up and down. And David said this in Psalm 34. He said, the Lord is close to those who are brokenhearted, to those who are crushed in spirit. I think David knew that firsthand. He knew that it's the moments that he was low that he realized that God was above all things. And, and the truth is that when you and I are recognizing that we're weak and when we're hurting, that's when we're able to put our trust and our confidence in the strength of our God. Because you and I, whether we struggle with depression or not, we can't make it on our own. But when we have those low moments, we're able to look and say, Jesus, you are the one who is strong enough. You're the one who overcame sin, death, and the grave. Jesus, you are alive and you're at the right hand of God the Father. And because you're alive and because your spirit lives in me, I can make it another day. The secret is to make sure you're plugged into Jesus every day and he'll give you everything you need.